Hi everyone. In this lecture, we will determine the response of the system characterized by the impulse response h of n is equal to 1 by 3 to the power n into u of n to the input signal x of n is equal to 3 to the power n into u of n. Okay. So basically, what is given in this question? The impulse response is given and the input is given. Am I right? Now, you should be aware about few points like u of n is what? A causal signal and a non-causal signal can be converted to a causal signal by multiplying the non-causal signal by a unit step signal u of n. Okay. Now, for a non sorry for a causal system what is the condition that you should know so the condition is h of n is equal to 0 for n smaller than 0 okay and you should also know the condition for a causal input so for a causal input you know what x of n should be equal to 0 for n smaller than 0 so hope you already know about this points then it is easy for you to solve this problem now what is x of n so write it here so x of n is what 3 to the power n into u of n and what is h of n boss so h of n is what 1 by 3 to the power n into u of n okay now let's go further so basically if you see here impulse response is what h of n and input sequence is what x of n so if you see both the things here it is somehow multiplied with u of n so if it is multiplied with u of n and if you see the behavior of u of n it is what 1 when n is greater than or equal to 0 and it will be 0 when n is what is smaller than 0 so that means what this part these two things will give you 0 when n is smaller than 0 that is for sure right so the impulse response h of n and the input sequence x of n are 0 are 0 for n is smaller than 0 right so you can say both h of n okay and x of n are what are causal in nature are causal in nature so hope this thing is clear to you now we understood okay that both are what causal in nature so which formula you have to apply here you have to apply this formula to calculate the response of the system so for a causal system excited by a causal input y of n will be equal to what summation of x of m into h of n minus m where the limit of m ranges from 0 to n is it clear fine now you can write this as summation of x of m right so this will become 3 to the power m into h of n minus m so it will become 1 by 3 into n uh, to the power n minus m and the limit of m will be what from 0 to n hope it is clear to you and during this tenure u of n is what 1 so we are not taking that term clear so this thing is clear to you replacing here it becomes this now let's start so this will be equal to what now summation of 3 to the power m this we can write it as 1 by 3 to the power n into it will become 3 to the power m okay where the limit of m ranges from 0 to n hope you know about this mathematics right how it becomes this i'm not going to explain this here it is easy it is a simple mathematics okay so let's go and solve it further so now this n n terms one you can bring it out right so this will be equal to what 1 by 3 to the power n okay into summation of 3 to the power m into 3 to the power m so it becomes what 3 square 
to the power m and where the limit of m ranges from 0 to n okay now what you can do basically here you can apply this formula so using finite geometric series sum formula so where you have to apply this formula for this particular term see here for this particular term why i'm not explaining this formula because we have already used this in our previous lectures a lot right so so when you apply this formula y of n will become what see here so y of n will become this will be equal to 1 by 3 to the power n into now focus here 1 minus this term inside term okay so this will be what 3 is square so 3 is square to the power what is the upper limit n so n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 3 is square simple clear now this will be equal to what 1 by 3 to the power n and this will resolve to 1 so this will be what 1 minus this particular part so it will be what 9 3 square 9 to the power n plus 1 divided by 1 minus 9 okay so you can you can write this as 1 by 3 to the power n into you can write it as 9 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 9 minus 1 same thing right negative will come from here also from here here also cancel so you can write it as this also now here is the final conclusion so 1 by 3 to the power n into 9 to the power n plus 1 minus 1 divided by 8 divided by 8 so this is what the response y of n so hope it is clear to you so we have determined the response of the system which is generally categorized by the impulse response h of n which was basically equal to 1 by 3 to the power n into u of n to the input signal x of n is equal to 3 to the power n into u of n so hope this numerical is clear to you if you have any doubt in this you can ask in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching